The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment, heard on the official website of HEW Entertainment. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. Go beat the man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1-641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1-647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion ten times! Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace! Emailing us works for you too. Email us H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god! J-B-L J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of H-E-W Entertainment Radio on the official website of H-E-W Entertainment, Jonathan Law. The champ is here! Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So what are you waiting for? Log on and listen now.
ago to get all of you caught up with our discussion on this website. I dropped the column for our archives for In This Corner with Jonathan Clark on how much I believe that Vince McMahon has become a disgrace to the entire WWE and all of its fans. And I really just haven't started believing that Vince McMahon has become a disgrace to WWE and the professional wrestling business, more so to his entire family, which I'll elaborate on later on during this broadcast. For the better part of the last two and a half years, pretty much, I believe that Vince McMahon is becoming more of a noticeable disgrace. You know, back in 1998, when he was a huge part of the Attitude Era and promoting that as an evil promoter for the WWE, uh, he was a far better performer than what he is now. Seemingly, we see Vince McMahon once every couple of months, and he's for an additional Raw or SmackDown for one segment, which is usually at the start of the show or halfway through it. And it's very unbeneficial where he's seeing him on television for about a two-minute segment where he confronts a superstar they have a face-to-face, -face, or he says up the two or three sentences, and that's all we see from Vince McMahon in editions of Raw and SmackDown. If Vince McMahon is doing this all the time, then it's better off you have Vince McMahon off television and leave it up to the general managers of Raw and SmackDown, who are currently Brad Maddox for Raw and Vicky Guerrero for SmackDown. It's more enjoyable seeing the general managers doing what they do than having Vince McMahon on television making a complete fool out of himself and embarrassing his entire family, which is something that he didn't do uh, during the Attitude Era in 1998. 1999 when he was feuding with top superstars like Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Triple H, The Undertaker, and Mankind. Maybe because he was close personal friends with these wrestlers off of television, that's probably why his feuds with these wrestlers on television in front of the camera were so effective in promoting the Attitude Era, and that's why they gained an advantage against WCW in the ratings war every Monday for two years, and I think that that's really why Vince McMahon is described as a legend and a consummate performer from what he did about 13 years ago. And he once said for a couple of WWE DVD releases, the times had changed and they as an organization had to change with the times, no matter if it meant keeping up with social media and interactivity or bringing in new talent and initiative superstars. So it's supposed to be about changing with the times. Why is Vince McMahon feeling the desire to always be on television here recently? Recently in 2012, 2013, he's making periodical appearances on Raw and SmackDown. It's not really to make major announcements. The biggest announcements Vince McMahon has made as a promoter of the WWE recently are the appointment of general managers for both Raw and SmackDown. For the first time in a while, seemingly forever, we have a general manager for both Raw and SmackDown, and even NXT, we have Dusty Rhodes as the general manager and promoter of that show. And if you want my opinion, the best show right now is a web show. Every Wednesday on WWE.com, the all-new NXT Dusty Rhodes and his assistant Sasha, an up-and-coming NXT diva, do a fantastic job promoting the new talent that you superstars, and if you want my opinion also, that is where the new talent initiative is being promoted the most effectively and where all the new talent initiative superstars should be until WWE have enough confidence in bringing them over to Raw and SmackDown more so than what they're doing right now. They have them on NXT a couple of months and then you have superstars like Michael McGillicuddy and Skip Sheffield being repackaged into superstars like Curtis Axel and Ryback for Raw and SmackDown and they're giving them championships a little bit too quick. You know, Vince McMahon seemingly seems to feel that his character fits perfectly with characters like Curtis Axel, Ryback, and Alberto Del Rio, but to me, his character fit perfectly 
deeply with Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Mankind, and The Undertaker more so than it ever has with the new talent ignition. Vince McMahon does not belong uh, with the new talent ignition. He doesn't belong in feuds with people like Alberto Del Rio who are 25 years younger than what Vince McMahon was when he was a promoter uh, and a consummate performer, rather, in 1998-1999. You know, it's, we're a long way away from seeing Vince McMahon feuding with Alberto Del Rio or Dolph Ziggler, and we're probably never, ever going to see it. Given Vince McMahon's age, this coming August, he'll be about 67, 68 years of age. His daughter, Stephanie, will be about 37, 38 in September. I mean, their ages are huge factors, and that's why we're probably a long way away from seeing feuds with the likes of Vince McMahon and Dolph Ziggler and Vince McMahon and Alberto Del Rio and why we'll probably never ever see it. And that's why Vince McMahon needs to be off television entirely and leave it up to the general managers to promote WWE. He can still lend a hand with creativity, coming up with character gimmicks and storylines for the WWE, but it has to be done off television. He can still attend board meetings and be the spokesperson for the WWE, but I really think that Vince McMahon does some of his best work when he's not in character and he's promoting the WWE.